GPT-5 is finally here and now you can change the personality of ChatGPT. For example, this is the default character of ChatGPT and I send this message. I'm so sad today I fell from a bicycle. Ouch, that sounds painful and I'm sorry you have to go through that. Okay, that's the typical answer of ChatGPT. And now there is this cynical, sarcastic version of ChatGPT. I'm so sad today I fell from a bicycle. I hope you didn't break anything besides your pride. So that's a very interesting answer. And this is one example of different personalities in ChatGPT. So today I'll show you how you can change the personality for both ChatGPT desktop web and the mobile app version. So first for a desktop web person, you can navigate to chatgpt.com and you can log in with your account. And here you can click your profile picture, go to settings, and then click personalization and then go to custom instructions and under what personality so, uh, should ChatGPT have you can select the setting that you want that is default scenic robot listener and nerd and by the way if you want to know the differences between these uh, characters you can actually check this instruction from ChatGPT. i'm going to actually leave the link in the video description if you want to read the differences between these personalities now that's for the desktop version how about the mobile app version well that's quite similar just open the app and make sure that you're running the latest version of chat gpt and then you can click this and then tap on your profile picture go to personalization go to custom instructions and you can select the personality for chat GPT. Now, let's try a different personality this time. I'll select the robotic personality, which is very efficient and blunt, and it is basically without emotion. It's just giving you a quick answer. Now, let's send the same message. I'm going to copy this, and let's paste that on the new version or the new personality of chat GPT. All right, so acknowledge falling can cause hidden injuries, check for cut swelling or limited movement, etc. So it's really a quick answer. And I think in some cases, this is actually very useful. You don't want to have too much chat interaction with ChatGPT. You just want to get a quick answer. So that's the benefit of using a different personality in ChatGPT. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.